on the depth business, it's a little bit different. So you start with a client, they're meeting a pension fund client, and through the discussion, they learn that there's an interesting new need or potential need that that client has. And so right there in the meeting, I'm able to pull up Salesforce One on my mobile and start to put in some of that information. But it's not just floating around in my head as the relationship manager. Right? It's going into the system because I, as the relationship manager, know that when I put it in, it's going to allow me to do things that make my life easier. It's going to help with automating documents. It's going to help with follow through and tracking. It's going to help with integrating over into the service teams. And so coming out of that meeting, we say, okay, great. Let's send a follow up. I've got an interesting product or a set of services or a new strategy that I think you should hear about. The client says, great, let's do something online. Let's just do a webinar or a WebEx and let's, let's get together and talk through it. And so walking out the door, the relationship manager is able to go into Salesforce and say, I want this set of slides about these sets of products and generate a customized document for that client. If they want to, they can get on the horn with the production team using Community Cloud to collaborate and make some changes or tweaks to it. That flows back into Sales Cloud. I'm able to take a look at it right in there and then send it out to my client using Marketing Cloud. And by sending it out using Marketing Cloud, I'm able to track who's reading it, whether they forwarded it, whether they've opened it or not, Right, all really good insights for a relationship manager to have. So that's great, they send the information, they do the presentation, and as they're doing the presentation, not only are they sharing the document online, but they're actually tracking what slides are being looked at, or what's the dwell time on each of the slides during the meeting. So you can actually start to capture some feedback back to both the production teams in terms of which content was most valuable, and also then at a more macro level across relationships, you can start to identify trends to say, these are some of the things that are really resonating. Either this way of presenting information works much better for this particular client. They seem to want to consume it this way. So the next time, you don't try and put the information in a way that doesn't line up with their preferences. Right? So you can really start to gather insights about that client that really today, again, all end up living in a relationship manager's head. Uh, you can find out if they forward it around to colleagues. You can see if colleagues have come and checked in on those slides. Um, and then as, as the pipeline moves along and you go from having this conversation to, okay, now you want to meet the portfolio manager and get a little deeper and now we want to go have an investment board meeting. Now you can kick off automatic activities into Service Cloud to start opening up cases for the service team to start to prep for contracting and get legal involved, get compliance involved, or even onboarding and allow you to start to do some automated collection of data and information from the client through the, through the Service Cloud. All things that are really just driving a ton of efficiency into the relationship.